A Detroit neighborhood left to rot for decades is bouncing back today and in a very big way. Just a few years ago, Brush Park was a mess. Well, now it looks like this about to be, I should say, 410 brand new residents at a range of prices in different age groups. Guy Gordon was at today's groundbreaking. The city modern concept is that you restore the grandeur of the past and then fill in the blanks with the promise of the future. Restoration will begin on three historic homes next spring, offering seven units in those classic Victorian mansions. Four different contemporary styles will bridge the past and present, and 20% of the 303 rental units are designated low income, with one bedroom apartments as low as $700 a month for qualifying applicants. Mona Ross Gardner grew up here and appreciates neighborhood input was considered. Incredible. They've worked directly with the community and, and asked about their concerns. Uh, they've met with us on many occasions. This is the largest single family residential neighborhood to be built in Detroit since you fill in the blank because I couldn't find out. On this site, 54 units of housing for seniors, an underserved group, according to Mayor Duggan. Now we can have our seniors move into the heart of a recovering downtown district and be in the center of all the action. It's the kind of respect uh, they deserve. 20 buildings in all, most with private or semi-private rooftop terraces and green spaces. Throughout the development, nicely landscaped pocket parks, all connected with pathways. Progress. Progress. A future for my children, my grandchildren, and everyone else that's down here. That's what I see it. This complex is just one block away from the queue line, meaning that the residents here are no more than 10 minutes away from all the amenities of the Midtown area and the Central Business District, meaning that City Modern is truly a vision of what this modern city could be. From Brush Park, I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Right on top of the new arena, practically, too. My it's going to be a hop in there.